Hello beautiful people, welcome back. Um, I decided to record another one of my workouts um, that I was initially going to do just by myself, but I thought, hey, I have time, why not? You guys send me incredible, the sweetest feedback, and I'm so grateful for that, thank you. Um, I'm very happy to know that these little workouts make a difference for you as well, and you start incorporating them into your own training. It makes me very, 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 very happy. Um, I just came back from my vacation, so I do feel a little bit out of shape. Um, and I'm very excited to start slowly but surely getting myself back into shape and back into feeling at my strong game. Um, what I will be using today is um, a loop band, mine is medium resistance, and I will be using two blocks. You can also throw a couple of ankle weights on. Um, if you want to make it harder, I would do the same, but unfortunately I forgot my ankle weights, so I'll have to do it without them. Um, let's get going. It is freezing. I'll start with my sweater on and hopefully at some point I will feel warm enough to take it off. Um, we're going to start on the back. You guys get ready. And we have um, one of my favorite ways to activate my TVA. So we're gonna have our knees over our hip bones. We're gonna place our hands on the quads. You're gonna guys, um, you guys are gonna take a nice big inhale. As I inhale, I visualize length in my spine. And on the exhale, you're gonna push your hands into your quads as if your life depends on it. And I'm gonna do the same. And you're gonna make sure your legs are not giving up. They are pressing right back. I'll do the count, I'm gonna count for 10. All I want you guys to do is breathe. Every time you exhale, think of slightly pulling the belly button in, creating a flat, controlled, strong surface for a cup of tea to go right here, okay? Let's go, inhaling through the nose. On the exhale, push into your quads and hold. Let's go 10. I'll maybe count in my head so I can breathe as well. Keep holding. It's Gemma style of counting, so it's very slow. Holding five, three, two, one. Good, inhale, release. Exhale, round two, let's go push. 10 counts. If you do this correctly, you'll feel a little shaking right in the midsection. Holding. Make sure you're not lifting your shoulders up to your ears. Neck is long on both sides. Five. Release. Good, one more, inhale. Exhale, press for dear life. Let's do it. Breathing, holding. Good, you guys got it. Keep holding, keep breathing. Four, two, one. Nice, grabbing a block for the next one, placing it right underneath the pelvis, placing our loop band around the arches of the feet, creating resistance, so pressing the feet apart, hands at the back of the skull. On the exhale, lift up into an upper crunch, hold it here, there's gonna be no movement from the head, from the shoulders, and I'm gonna exhale, first focus on the top leg, so I'm gonna squeeze my right knee as close to the chest as I can, and then from there, I'm gonna work on that sweet, strong leg extension. We have 20, let's go. This is 19, exhale, 18, 17. Remember, top leg is your priority leg. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, we got it, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good, block goes out of the way. Back into exercise number one. Let's go, hands on the quads, on the axial, press. <sighs> Holding. Three, 
three, two, one. Breathe in. Let's go around to exhale, push for dear life. Low back stays down, make sure you're not arching. Holding, pressing, legs are fighting right back. They're very strong, strong creatures. They have their Mars in Scorpio. <laughs> if you guys know anything about astrology, that's a very strong Mars, very determined Mars. So make those legs work. Where is your Mars at? Let me know. Mine is actually pretty weak. Good thing I grew up in a professional environment. So I'm very, very determined. Let's go one more time, guys. Inhale, exhale, press. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Press a little bit harder. You can always squeeze a little bit more. Three, two, one. Release, good. Quickly placing that block under the pelvis. Bend around the arches of the feet. And let's go on the exhale. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. I just realized my mic was covered by my sweatshirt the whole time, so hopefully the sound's going to be okay, but let's put it away so you guys can hear me. Next, we have our invert on the back and slide. Okay. So... I'm gonna take that band, I'm gonna place it around our ankles. I'm gonna move one leg out, one leg in. So if you do this correctly, your top quad, so I'll start with my right leg in, should be a bit on fire. Just know that in the history of movement, no one died from quad activation, so you guys will be fine. Arms are extended, palms facing down. On the exhale, holding that resistance, I'm gonna exhale and lift our pelvis off the floor. Don't hop into it, don't use momentum. Use, rely on the strength. Let's go, exhale up. <sighs> Slowly coming down, three, two, one. Let's go for two, exhale up. <sighs> coming down, three. It's in the coming down where the work is hiding. So the slower you go to the ground, the better. Let's go three up. <sighs> down, down, down. Good, let's go four up. Down, down, down. Going five up. Use your arms. Down, down, down. Good. Switching the leg. Left leg forward, right leg back. Exhale up. Down. Three, two, one. Going two up. Three, two, one. Good. Going three up. Three, two, one, good, two up, three, two, one, final one up, three, two, one, good, Whew. bam comes off, roll the mat in, so we have space to slide, forearms to the ground, legs extended, you do need socks for this one. Elbows underneath the shoulders on the exhale, contracting through the front body, bum up to the sky, sit bones up, and then as slow as we can, digging the balls of the feet into the ground, sliding out. This is one. Let's go for two. And out. And three, exhale. And out. And up, four. And out. Keep breathing, five. And six. And seven. And eight. 
and nine and ten good unroll the mat back to the first one grab your loop band place it around your ankles let's go right leg in front left leg at the back on the axial lift three two one going for two exhale three two one let's go three three two one and four three two one and five three two one good switching guys let's go other side exhale three two one and two three two one and three three two one two more we i'm feeling it three two one it's very hard to talk with this one make sure you're breathing last one three two one good band off fold the mat or roll the mat just as long as your socks can slide and let's go guys on the exhale and out three two one i'm gonna go a bit higher with my pelvis feel free to stay at your own level please don't try to copy me listen to your body three and four and five keep going six think of creating space between the chest and the floor especially here don't collapse press up i think this is seven and eight and nine and ten good breathe and breathe out and i don't remember what i wrote next like essential lateral crunch with blocks I didn't own. Okay. I love the next one. Requires a little bit of coordination, so you might feel wobbly at first. I'll still feel wobbly sometimes when I do it, so know that it's perfectly normal. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start in the bridge prep position. You're gonna tuck your tailbone to begin with. Make sure you're not starting with an arched back, so you tuck. I always tell my students, imagine you're a squirrel, but you wanna pretend not to be one. So you're hiding that tail under, reaching it up, through the pubic bone, up into your belly button, into your chest, so pull up. You're gonna keep your arms, your hands together specifically. On the exhale, you're gonna dig your right heel, right foot into the ground. You're gonna start rotating your torso to the left, and essentially you're trying to go to your left side body, but as you're rotating, you're gonna press your outer shoulder down. You're gonna start extending that left leg out, and you're gonna take a crunch-like position. So notice how I'm pulling my pelvis up, up, up. And I'm gonna reach both arms towards that left foot. You can point, you can flex. I like to flex, and I like to press the power out through my heel. And then you're gonna come back down to center. This time your pelvis is gonna stay off the ground, so we have no recovery in between. On the exhale, other side. Reach your arms out. Pull your pelvis up and center. Let's go three. And center. And four. And middle. And five. Back to middle. And six. Exhale seven. Exhale eight. Exhale nine. You got it, guys. And 10. Keep going. One. 
and two, remember to breathe, and three, and four, and two more, five, and final one, six. Center. Good. Sorry, guys, I'm breathing heavy right into my mic, but because I'm, I really want to do this workout for myself, first and foremost, breathing is key. Exercise without breathing is, in my opinion, pointless because you want to activate and rely on those deep core layers and they don't kick in unless your breathing is on point. So make sure you're breathing. Let's go hands on the blocks. You're going to press, you're going to exhale. Imagine that you're going into an invert. So you're piking and you're going to bring one leg off and we're going to slide forward and back, bending that bottom leg as we slide forward. And then we're going to slide back extended, but the right leg will stay off the ground the whole time. So rocking forward, sliding back, sliding and rocking forward, sliding back. Let's go three. Let's go four. Let's go five. Let's go six. When you slide forward, make sure you're not dumping into your low back. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good. Switch up in the air. No rest. Left leg out. Let's go. Two. Three. Four, five, don't give up, six, hope my legs are fading into the screen, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. This one just doesn't get easy. Back into number one. You guys ready? Let's do it. Tuck the tailbone on the exhale. Crunch and pull the pelvis up. Center. Two. Center. Three. Center. Four. Center. Keep going. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep going. One, two, three, four, two left, five. Final one, six, good. I can feel all the Mexican food preventing me from moving fast. <sighs> so happy to be home and eating clean. I love eating home food. I'm such an addict of cooking clean, wholesome food. I try to do that as often as I can. Let's go guys, on the exhale, right leg up, slide, bend your left knee, push back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Switch out two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. 
Guys, I am, whew, I broke a sweat. That feels amazing. You can technically repeat the whole thing one more time. If you want a longer workout, just go back in the video and do it again. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm so out of breath. This is the vacation, the result of the vacation. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Send me an email, don't be shy. I really love connecting with you guys. And I love feedback. It actually helps me create better content, more useful content. So if you have workout requests, specifically for pole dancers, ballerinas, athletes, let me know. I'm very happy to, to create for you. Um, and with that being said, um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.